<laughs> yo, yo, yo. It's D Arthur in the building. Talking to you guys today about how if you're on semen retention, you will become the prize when it comes to women attraction. And how semen retention makes you the prize. And how if you go on retention, she'll look at you as someone who she wants to get around and be with when you're on retention. Also, I found that I found out that if you're trying to, let's say, attract the woman and maybe you did something, but it, uh, it didn't work at first. You like you try to talk to her, but she seemed like she was not interested. What I'm telling you is if you go on retention and you, you play this this game, kind of game of a, p a push and pull type of game. Um, you will, she will effortlessly start being attracted to you. This is psychology. She, th there's a, there, there's a loophole in a, in men's and women's brains that says that the man who seems to be the, this, the least interested in the woman, um, throughout the attraction phase who seems to have the 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 carefree mindset if she if he if she likes him or not and really pretty much is cares less and does anything he pleases around her and is quote unquote indifferent and quote unquote a savage around her by the way that he acts the way, by the way he talks the by the way he moves uh, when he's around let's say a certain type of woman the woman is more likely to be attracted uh, to that person instead of the one who's over, always reaching out, always available, always, um, always there for her. This might se seem crazy. <laughs> this might seem like it's some voodoo and some opposite things, but it's true. Think of, think of, think of your if you have a pet like your cat. Um, the moment you start like chasing the cat, the moment you start chasing the cat, it seems to run away. But the moment, the moment you're kind of busy with your life and you start focusing on, let's say other things, um, maybe you're busy at work or you have a business that you're trying to get off the ground or you're or you're doing something else or you're trading something or you're doing some real estate or something like that. The moment you're doing, you're actually focused on something else. That's the moment when all the woman attraction tends to happen and you will become the prize on cement retention. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't let anybody tell you different because I had an example where at the beginning where I was pursuing and it didn't really seem to go anywhere. Even if you're pursuing but the moment I kind of ignore and I and you do this and you do things normally uh, and you just ba basically focus on something else. That's when uh, the attraction comes. They always seem to come back when you're not focused on them. This is how this is pretty much how the world works. And even in anything, if there's something that you want and you're obsessive about it. And you're obsessive about why it's not happening and you have you cancel out all options and you come to let's say conclusions as to why it's not happening then it's probably not going to happen but if you're focused on something else and you're detached from whether and you basically don't care if it happens to you or not that's usually when it happens the, the the initial part of you caring about what what happens is basically it leaving you out the window but the moment you turn your back on it and you just like if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't that's when you get what you desire and this is pretty much the secret to anything if you really want it you put some you put initial effort into it nothing seems to happen you turn your back on it it doesn't happen and then when you least expect it, it pops up or she texts you or she actually says something to you first or something like that. 
and you will become the prize. And what I mean by you becoming the prize on semen retention is if you're on semen retention and you're and you're actually getting serious about your life, meaning every single every single aspect of your life is starting to come tenfold and you're starting to realize things uh, that you really wanted to do and you and you're and you limit and you cut out distractions uh instead of always checking instagram for the next latest uh instagram uh, thing you you're actually focused on something that can help you out like in your future like you actually care about your life and your maybe you're it's maybe it's something with fitness or it's business or you're trying to get more in tune with your spiritual uh self you're trying to have a closer connection to the most high or you're actually retaining and it's helping you out the moment the, the moment you start actually focusing on things that you can actually control, that's when everything else comes to you. And this is it. So, yeah, you'll become the prize on semen retention. Woman attraction will skyrocket to the point where it's unavoidable. And you'll just become the person that you really want to be. Um, so, yeah, focus on focus on whatever you have to do and focus on becoming, let's say, the best version of yourself and the person who matches your the, your best version will um will enter your life at some point or something this th there's an example of this other um guy he said that he was on retention for at least like five to six months of straight retention and he got a lot of stuff stu a lot of things done uh when you're when he was on retention like he got his his money up. He got his charisma up. He got his swag up. He got everything a little bit. He just made everything a little bit better. And then he testified that the perfect type of woman that met his uh, criteria basically just sort of came out of nowhere. And this is what happens. But the, the problem is people are, guys generally, are way too focused on them they're, they're way too focused on busting their next nut or they're way too focused on when next time they're gonna get some they're too focused on things that they really can't control they're just focused on all of these sort sort quote unquote distractions and the more you focus on distractions the more the more you focus on distractions the more you'll have a distracted life but if you focus on what's important and what i mean when it's important is you trying to boss up in all aspects of your of your life the things that you want the most effortlessly flow into your life effortlessly so you become a high quality person and then the high quality the high quality people tend to magnet magnetically enter your life but if you're focused too much on your next nut, your your next this, your the next time you're gonna go out, the next time you're gonna do this, the next time you're gonna do this, the next drink you're gonna have, you're not really gonna be happy because the true the truest way to actually have core satisfaction in your life, the core is satisfaction, the the type of satisfaction that really puts triggers something in your heart and triggers something in your soul, is if you discipline yourself and you put in the work. There's no shortcuts to it. If you discipline yourself and you're truly doing working on something that's purposeful and you're not taking anybody else else's word for it except yourself, that is going to be that is where you're going to find the truest, the truest satisfaction. You're going to be the happiest yourself if you, let's say, put in the work or if you say put set up a goal and you actually accomplish it, especially when a lot of people said that you weren't going to do it. And that pretty much sums it up. So focus on yourself. Focus on what you can do to become better. Focusing, focus on increasing, let's say, your income. Focus on your charisma. Focus on your social skills. Focus on your physique. Focus on your mind. Focus on your mindset because success is a mindset. Focus on all of those things. And then at the right time, the right type of person will start coming into your life. They say, like attracts like. Like energies attract like energies. So notice how, even, even for example, your 
your core friends, the people that you hang out with the most. There's a reason why they're your friends. There's a reason why you're friends with them. Because you guys have, if you look at the people you spend the most time with, you guys have something similar in common, and it could be anything. You, you, you might have something in common where you're you have the same mindset you have a, you have the same passion for something you're both really into something you both really like something and then you magnetically attracted yourself uh each other creating your life experience so everybody that you know to up to this point was put in your path for a reason because they're in cor correlation with your with your core your core vibration but the people who you seem to be very rejected to and repelled to those people are incongruent with your with your vibration they're those people are in a different set of mood and mindset and frame than you are and that's why you sometimes feel repelled to some people and when your retention everything starts becoming very very clear you, you start to weed out the people who who belong the people who don't belong everything is feeling everything is feeling so if you feel something somebody is not uh in the same vicinity as you is in the same vibration as you then they're going to they're you're, you guys aren't going to have any correlation you guys aren't going to have any there's no there's no going to there's not going to be any agreement with each other but the people who are meant to be in your life they will stay in your life you guys make this way too complicated than it should be so like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.